foreign language. And I appreciate your taking the time to read your statement in, uh, in English, but I know that in response to questions, you will want to answer us uh, in Arabic and have it translated. It's very courageous for you to be here. You've already told us that your life and the life of your family members have been threatened, and you can't take that uh, casually when you've already seen 31 people that work for you already killed for the uh, anti-corruption efforts that your commission has undertaken. You've undertaken this effort at the United States request. Ambassador Bremer asked you to take on this responsibility. Uh, the United States understood from the very beginning that um, it was essential to uh, stop corruption in order to have Iraq succeed as a stable and independent country. Let me ask you this question. You've been there for a number of years in this position as head of the Commission on Public Integrity. Based on your experience over the last three years, is corruption in Iraq getting better or worse? Yes, it is uh, getting worse because of the sectarianism in the country and the lack of the rule of law in the country. You indicated in your statement that $18 billion is a sum that you feel uh, uh, has uh, gone to the costs of corruption. $18 billion is a lot of money. It could have gone to electricity projects, hospitals, police training, or a lot of things that could have helped the Iraqi people. How much cor does corruption affect the reconstruction efforts in Iraq? I believe that it has stopped the process of reconstruction in Iraq. And uh, you've indicated that it, some of the money has gone to the sectarian militias. How would that have happened? In areas where oil is present, such as Baji, and it is a Sunni-controlled area, and Basra, which is a Shiite-controlled area, the militias uh, do uh, control these areas, and they sell oil and take the revenues of oil to finance the purchase of weapons to their militias, respective militias. I would think that the Iraqi government would want you to investigate money that uh, would go from the sale of its oil. After all, this is the this is a uh, revenue for the government of billions of dollars, and yet you are not allowed to investigate corruption relating to the sale of oil. Uh, why would the national government stop you from stopping the corruption of oil sales, which then go to the militias that are fighting the government. Because these militias are from their parties, from their uh, blocks, and therefore this is a financial re source or financial revenue for them, and that's why they forbid us from investigating such cases. In addition, that those who manage or direct these directorates are from their own uh, political affiliations. So it's your statement to us that around $18 billion, maybe more, has been used for corruption instead of for proper purposes like reconstruction, hospitals, electricity, and 
fighting against terrorism in Iraq. Is that, is that your statement? Can we repeat the question? Is it your view that $18 billion is not being used for hospitals, reconstruction, electricity, and to even fight terrorism because it's being siphoned off by corruption? It's going to corruption. All these, all these uh, amounts were spent over the uh, three uh, years, but when you go to the field or you go to the ground, you don't see signs of reconstruction. You only see 2 percent to 5 percent of reconstruction happening. When you go to the field and you don't find water, nor electricity, nor fuel, and Iraq is the country of oil, then uh, Iraq is uh, uh, importing oil now, so you don't see reconstruction. Okay. Thank you. Um, General Walker, you feel so intense about this corruption issue that you've even recommended to us that we should l limit our money to Iraq requiring them before they get the money to stop the corruption. Is that uh, your view? Slightly different, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the United States has been trying to help uh, fight corruption and, and build capacity in the Iraqi ministry since 2003, but we haven't had a strategic and integrated plan. We haven't had appropriate met metrics and milestones. We haven't had appropriate responsibility and accountability noted, and therefore we believe that the Congress should consider conditioning future appropriations effort mm -hmm. to making sure that that plan is done and effectively implemented so that uh, we can achieve some results uh, rather than just uh, have more efforts. Thank you. And Mr. Bowen, you, do you agree from your observations in Iraq that uh, corruption is increasing rather than decreasing in Iraq? That, that's what I said. And, and I'm, the rising tide is in part attributable to the politicization of, of the rule of law. Uh, specifically, uh, the directive from the Prime Minister's office requiring permission to be obtained before initiating prosecutions of any minister or former minister and, and the like. The, uh, one, one distinction I want to draw here, though, is, is that, that Judge Roddy is talking about his oversight of Iraqi money, and, and the, the $18 billion in Iraq Relief and Reconstruction Fund is taxpayer money that's not within his jurisdiction, within mine. And, uh, and as... No, as I understood his statement, he thought over a three-year period there's been a, a, a waste of 18 billion right, of Iraq. Right, I just dollars. want to be sure that there's 18 billion, it's the same number as the Iraq Relief and Reconstruction Fund, and I want to draw, number. yeah, I want to draw okay. the distinction between yes. the two so there's not confusion uh, as, as has occurred in the past, that, that on the U.S. side, corruption has not been a significant component to date that we've uncovered. Well, then, if I ask how high up in the Iraqi government this corruption goes, uh, Judge Roddy, does it go all the way to the Prime Minister? Do you think that uh, Prime Minister Maliki is involved in corruption himself? Uh, as a judge, I cannot say that someone is uh, engaged in something unless I have evidence and proof. However, uh, that uh, Maliki has protected some of his relatives that were involved in corruption uh, uh, endeavors, and especially uh, some of his relatives. Yeah. And he's allowed other ministers to protect their employees from any investigation. نعم ولذلك أغلق الوزراء ورئيس الوزراء قضايا ب 100 مليار دينار عراقي وهي بالنسبة العراق ليست قليلة. Yes, and for that reason, the uh, Council of Ministers has, uh, the, the uh, Prime Minister has closed cases related to 100 billion Iraqi dinars, and in Iraqi currency, such an amount is not a, a small amount.